gotta grab these kicks. Love is on feet. Yeah. Alright man, successfully leaving Hibbert's as you can see. Got the purchase. I don't know why they gave me this big ass receipt. But uh they look like it's gonna rain out here, man. So let's go ahead and get to it. Yeah, we got the shoe, we got the shoe, we got the shoe. Uh, I don't know why they gave me this big old receipt. Like, I ain't never. <laughs> hey, this is my first time um, shopping at Hibbert Sports, too, because where I, where I was at, we didn't have Hibbert Sports. Uh, I know in the Chicago area, they might have had a few, but uh, I, I was out there a little further north. We, we didn't have them, so... Uh, yeah, but like I said, man, we got the shoe. These joints did retail for uh, 210, but I see the black box. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull one out, man. Look at it real quick. And then we gonna go ahead and head home and, and, and do the review. But, whoo shit. Check the size, size 11, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I think this, this the one right here, man. The color on this one is nasty. Yeah, this, this the one right here, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man, let's get home and do the, re uh, we're gonna get into the review, man. But, like I said, that's the one right there. Uh, before we get into it, man, y'all know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment to the channel if you're rocking with the content. Don't forget to, man, check out the website. It's always linked in the description below. And uh, shop with us, man. We truly appreciate it. Today, man, we got a pickup from uh, Give It Sports. Excuse the little stain. I don't know what that is. But, as you can see... And it came out today, so you probably already know what it is. And it is an Air Jordan 14 Retro SE. Uh, colorway Archeo, I guess, brown slash multicolor. Size 11, personal pair. And these joints retail for 210, man. I ended up spending like 222 and some change. So we all know Jordan brand up in the price. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what to say on that, but let's go ahead and get into the sneaker, man. Uh, as you can see, the black paper. And one thing, too, uh, I don't know why. I paid for them in store. They, yeah, so I paid $222.60. And I don't think none of my information is on there, but... They gave me like a paper receipt for some reason. It came out of the printer, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make sure I keep it in here just in case, you know. But like I said, black paper, as you can see, black tissue paper. Then you got the white paper. And then you have the shoe, which is right here. We're gonna go ahead and Pull out the other shoe, man, and try not to drop this box in the process. And we're gonna go ahead and get to it. I'm probably gonna use, yeah, I'm gonna use the box. And do it just like that. So, boom, we have the shoe right here, man. It does come with a uh, spare pair of laces, as you can see. Um, I'm actually gonna sit this shoe to the side and do the other shoe, the right shoe. One thing I will say, the colorway is dope. This brown material is nice. Um, dope colorway. But once you get to the midsole, to be honest, man, I feel like it's a, a couple of like imperfections. Uh, like they kind of they kind of rush these joints a little bit, man. So like getting into yeah, let me just start off on this side. So. If you look close, 
don't know if y'all can see that my bad my light like right here but it's like a little glue stain that's on the carbon fiber and then you have like these little peaks especially once you get up up front right here it's like a couple of y'all probably can't see it but you got like these little i know y'all can hear that though if you can't see it and then it's definitely like just basically around like these little peaks right here, man. It's like glue stains and you got like these little like, like something landed on the shoe as the paint was drying. Uh, I just felt like that could have been better. But even like on the back, it's like a little mark on the, on the, I don't know. Maybe I'm just nitpicking, man. But if y'all gonna raise the price, the quality around the entire shoe should be A1 sauce. Now, that don't mean that, you know, maybe I just got a rough pair. You know what I'm saying? Y'all pairs could probably be, you know what I'm saying? And I've never uh, got a pair from Hibbert either, from Hibbert. So maybe the pairs they got was kind of off. I don't know. But getting into the shoe, man, you got an all brown upper. It's almost like a mocha type colorway, I would say, or maybe, maybe just chocolate. I'd say chocolate, and then down here, you get more into like that mocha uh, on the midsole, and then you do get your hints of white as well. And then it goes down to the outsole, you get that carbon fiber plate, which I believe that's what that is, carbon fiber plate. And you got your red hints, the jump man and his pivot right here. And then you got some white on the back. Heading to the heel of the shoe, you can see those brake lights or tail lights, which are right here. It's kind of like translucent. Um, whiteness so uh, going up into this black tab with the red Jumpman and 23. You also have that red on the heel, which kind of looks like an infrared compared to how dark the red is on this. But I always say different materials will show a color differently. So this tab is like plastic and this is more of like a I don't know, like a tennis ball type feel. Uh, you have a brown sock liner. Move these laces like an infrared lace. They look pretty red on the camera, but it's, I don't know, it's almost like an orange is red or, or infrared. Getting into the inside, you got the white jump man with that, that same red uh, insole or insert. Standard shoe tree. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. Uh, standard Jordan 14 lacing, getting back into the upper. You do have like that chocolate jump man or mocha jump man right there. Uh, but like I said, standard lacing. You do have this little tab up here that's on the tongue, which is Jordan. And then you got the Roman numeral 14 on the back. Um, a mesh tongue for the most part. Uh, then they didn't smooth it out on this one. They gave us the little side panels or, you know, whatever these, these pieces are called. Uh, as far as the design, sometimes they smooth it out. Sometimes we get these. Um, if you've had the flu games, then you know, you know, the flu games came like this too, I believe. So, uh, yeah, pretty solid shoe. This material, I don't know what it is. Uh, it feel like it could be rubber or not rubber, but like waterproof. Um, which hints, you know, winterize. So, uh, yeah. Getting into this shoe, though, man, same thing. It just comes with the spare laces. You get the black laces. Uh, they did put silver tips on the laces. And on these, on the red ones, same thing. If I didn't mention that. Now, one thing that was different, let me move these out the way. Uh, you usually kind of get, like, that jewel type emblem right there but this time they like rubberized it out so if you feel it it definitely feels like rubber i don't know if y'all can see that but overall man the shoe is dope uh the colorway is nice uh, i'm glad i got the shoe in my collection i feel like it was a couple of little things that like see you see like a little nape right there like uh, it's like something fell on it you know as it was drying or something or this honestly could probably just be glue like a piece of glue got on it. I don't know. I'm gonna stop Nick picking up the shoe. Dope shoe. Uh, don't know what the resale is going for right now. Cause nine times out of 10, if I wouldn't have hit these, I would have had to buy them resale. So 
Uh, yeah, comment down below, man. Let me know if y'all pick these up. It's your boy Dreadful Kicks. Winterize Jordan 14s. And, uh, yeah, don't forget, man, check out the site. It's always linked in the description below. And uh, other than that, y'all already know what to do, man. Stay home, stay safe, stay blessed, stay out the way. Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. We out. Peace.